In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to export one specific area to PDF in AutoCAD. The process might seem a bit daunting if you're not familiar with all the options available, but don't worry. I'll guide you through each step to make it as straightforward as possible. First, take a good look at the top of your AutoCAD interface and head over to the Output tab. This tab is the hub for all your exporting needs, so it's definitely a good one to become familiar with. Once you've clicked on Output, you'll notice various options unfold. Look for a drop-down labelled Export. This drop-down menu is going to be your direct pathway to converting your drawing into a PDF format. Click on this menu and select PDF from the list of export options. Now on the right hand side of your screen you'll see a range of options unfold. While you might be tempted to dive into all of them, let's focus specifically on what you need for this task. Output controls. It's here in this section where you'll find a drop-down labelled export. This is critical for specifying how you want your selection to be confined. Choose Window from this drop-down menu. Selecting Window will allow you a flexible way of boxing in the specific area of your drawing you wish to export. To make this selection, you'll see a small button alongside the Window drop-down. Go ahead and click that button. By doing so, you'll temporarily return to your drawing workspace. This is where you'll actually highlight the specific portion of your drawing that you want to export as a PDF. With your cursor, click and drag to draw a rectangle around the area you wish to save. You'll want to ensure that everything you need captured is well within that box, because this stage determines precisely what will appear in your PDF. Once you've highlighted your chosen area, you'll have the opportunity to save your work. A Save dialog will pop up, prompting you to choose a folder or location on your computer where you would like to store your newly created PDF. Take a moment here to make sure you know where you're saving it, and feel free to give it a descriptive name that makes it easy to find later. And there you have it. You've successfully exported a specific area of your AutoCAD drawing to a PDF. This method is perfect for when you need to share a particular section of your work with others, ensuring they see exactly what you want them to focus on. I hope this step-by-step -step guide has been helpful and that you now feel confident in exporting your drawings just the way you want them.